Xylan Cheatham to jump for Iowa. Dante Hall in the center circle for Ignite, and we are underway. Brandon Ashley stripped. Good hands by Xylan Cheatham. All the way in is Tyler Cook. But he's a former player and coach, so he's got the experience to be a color person. <laughs> Up ahead, Hall got his own miss, and he finds Brandon Ashley there in tandem with him. One area where you need to communicate and have some chemistry is the defensive end. Jack leading the break. Extra pass. It's Ashley on the lay in, set up by Hall. An ankle. Jared Jack getting out in transition. Perfect pass, then you make the extra pass, leading to an easy two. Again, good job getting out in transition, making the extra pass. Starts with Jared Jack. Just underway, Ignite leading by one. Baseline drive and the flush. Charlie Brown Jr. And the other way. Charlie Brown just explosive to baseline. Help isn't there. They got them back for the third. Iowa making some roster adjustments as well, and the lineup has not really had the opportunity to build chemistry. Headman feed, Cheatham overpowers Green in transition. Jack is open and a triple. Now seven of 10 from beyond the arc on the season. Second contest pulled away in the fourth. Last time out, a complete performance as they trail here and gave up a transition lay into Trier. Who said it just wants to make the other team think. And if it takes you an extra beat or two to figure out, oof, to figure out what the defense is in. A full 24 second reset, reset of the shot clock should have occurred. Jalen Green shooting over the defense for three. Jalen Green smooth. Defender gets caught on the screen. Doesn't need a lot of space. Great elevation. Pure looking shot. Down to seven to shoot. A day murky. Will trigger and connect. Did Barry. Driving in Hearn. His shot eliminated. Johnson on the stick back. Canyon Berry from deep and he knocks it in. Really short amount of time, number of back to backs. And to the shot clock, mixed to Demps for three. Nix into Johnson, brought it down to the ground, scooped it up and scored. Backing up and scoring Dakari Tucker. Up with a 12 point game and a 14 point game. A shot well from the three point line. Johnson and one. Those players projected top five draft picks according to ESPN in this upcoming draft. Canyon Barry on the back door. Flying high for the slam. Another look at Canyon Barry in Lake Buena Vista, Florida. But with the games for the Philippines delayed, he is making his way back to his Ignite squad. Barry tees it up. Kicking, paint touch, kicking, and eventually finding Barry for the open three. Really push it, putting pressure on the Ignite D. Nice touch there by Jesse Govan, G League Ignite PR representative. His return is unclear because first he has to make his way to the single site as Briscoe lays it in. Talented piece to the already undefeated G League Ignite squad. Certainly brings them more size inside as well. 9-2 Iowa run, looking for its first win of the season. Inside is Govan. 18 G League teams are down there competing in 15 games over 25 days. And Tyler Cook has been one of the best in the league so far. He's got a chance at three. Instead, they go inside to out for Green. That's short. Gets his own miss. 
Jack is wide open, and he's been nearly automatic from deep this season. <laughs> Or maybe it was an idea that if you give up an <laughs> offensive rebound. Jesse Govan, right around Trier, had the mismatch in and out. Here's Jared Jack to Govan. And the lay-in, the big man running the floor. Ignite in front. That started back in 2005 when he was a first round pick out of Georgia Tech. Govan has been great in the second. Cook through the defense. Skip to green, baseline, hangs and hits. How long did he stay elevated? He gets to play alongside a guy like Jared Jack who spent 14 years in the league. Knicks, no, Hall, yes. Get the possession here, 30 seconds in. Ashley on the reverse. Rim has protection so you can't get your shot blocked. Alonzo Trier turns the corner into the paint and this is Cook stretching his way for the slam. It's good to see him active when he doesn't have the basketball in his hands. Too strong green, there is Cook and one. Tyler Cook on the offensive glass and a chance for three to be on an NBA roster. Second year out of Iowa, spent time last year with Denver and Cleveland and 13 NBA games to his resume. Trier answers the green flush. You're complimenting the defense of both teams in the first half and seems like the help side stayed in the locker room during the break. Todd and Knicks have been really strong pieces as well. Dante Hall runs the floor and he's rewarded. Knight is a relatively low assist team. They're 14th in the league, 21 assists a game. You know, oftentimes when Green gets the basketball, he's got the lane. He's out here to be a scorer, so right there. <laughs> he's got the space, you're looking for your shot. Largest lead at seven for Ignite. Zylan Cheatham and Cook cleans it up with authority. Briscoe in season from the available player pool. There are a handful of players not assigned to a team but down at the single site to be available as needed. That's Charlie Brown Jr. It looked to me like teams that have played three games in four days. Looking a little bit more tired, a little less quick than they did in the first half. Likes that right baseline. Trier knocks it down over Jack. Dems dribbled into traffic. Dakari Tucker, a pump fake, and now a three. That is pure. Out of the post. Rotated to Demps. On the move, pulling up, and knocking down the mid-range two. Wigginton, kicking out. Tucker, the pump fake. Reggie Hearn. Quick trigger, off target. Collected by Iowa. And Jordan Murphy leaning in. And definitely like a bank layup guy, not even a finger roll. <laughs> Canyon Barry, I think, is a three point guy. Wigginton trying to protect the lead for Iowa. Wigginton all the way in has now made his last two attempts. Kuminga got his own miss, and let's see if Kuminga could get started. And they've really excelled in the fourth quarter. Let's see if they do so again today, as Hall cleans up his own miss.
Tucker, step back. Skip to Depths, change of direction, pushing in against Tucker. Patiently waits and puts it up over the defender. Kaminga bumps, maintained possession, and found a cutting haul. Really nice. Cook denied by Kaminga. Hasn't been as imposing in terms of scoring, but he has certainly had his impact on this game, and that's what you have to do. Five rebounds, four assists. This is Cook. You can hear Jared Jack saying, attack it with the shot clock winding down. Nix forces it up, and Dacian Nix knocks it in. That's a good time to get your first points of the game, young man. Two days after scoring 25 on his 19th birthday. But that last free throw was worth two points. He hit an earlier free throw that was worth three. And so he's been able to really help his bottom line with his work at the charity strike. A difference of four, and Jack cuts it in half. Up to date. Everybody's got the G League app. <laughs> Kaminga, end of shot clock, banks it in for a tie. So deadlocked at 85. And maybe the best closer in the league in Jack on the floor, finding Nix, it's a triple. Ignite plus three, Dacian Nix has all six of his points in the fourth quarter. Good block, Nix is there for the follow after Cheatham had a terrific rejection of Hall. Two and a quarter minutes to four and oh. The ball movement, now Nix to Hall, and one. Down seven to up 11, and now Ignite goes down 11 to up seven in the second half until Tyler Cook spun for two. Our basketball. Cook levitating to the rim, a one-handed spike to make it a one possession game. Jack, floater. Jack dribbling into space. Green driving in. The finish for Ignite. Iowa ball, 5.5 left. Cook to Trier. And the game expired prior to the release.